Well, Flying Goat Farm started out um, just about four years ago now. We had moved into uh, a place just at 94 and 70 and uh, started out with two goats. And the name came because the, uh, the goats that we had, there were two trees in the uh, pasture and uh, the goats actually were able to get quite high in the, uh, in the tree to eat the leaves. And um, Lisa always told me that, well, in the day when we went to our day jobs, they would fly up to the top to eat the leaves and then at the end of the day, they'd fly back down on the ground. And so that became the Flying Goat Farm. And then as we wanted to expand, we moved out here to Frederick and now we have 25 acres. We chose the mohair goats. They're actually called Angora goats, but they make mohair because they make an abundance of fiber. We get about um, 12 pounds of fiber off of each animal each year. Um, so I knew I would have a lot to work with and I really love to spin and dye it so getting um, animals that have some colored fiber and are also white so that I can dye was um, a motivation for that. We have two types of chickens. We have a Rhode Island Red and an Aracana. Uh, the Aracanas will, will produce an egg that's either green or blue in tint and the uh, Rhode Island Reds will have the more traditional brown egg. So um, the difference that you will notice when you take a look at the eggs on the inside is that because our chickens are free to roam during the day, uh, the egg yolks are going to be a lot more yellow to orange than you will find from a, from a store-bought egg. So we have about um, 68 layers right now and we have some baby chickens that are coming online. We get about anywhere from three to four dozen eggs per day and so we do sell those at farmers market or we have people come to the farm and um, buy our eggs. They are raised organically. We're in transition to move to or to be certified organic. We're not quite there yet. It takes, it's a three year process and we've only been here for two years. We also have um, fruit. We have the pears, peaches, apples. We have berries, various kinds of berries, blueberries, raspberries, black raspberries. We have cherries and we're um, growing some new hazelnuts. So we're hoping to get some nuts as well as fruit. Um, I had some exposure to farm life as a, as a boy is my grandfather had a farm and we were we had some time that we could spend up there but uh, the rest of it you know I've lived in cities and things like that and uh, so here we had the opportunity to get out into the countryside to uh, be able to try something that we really enjoy and uh, it's it's really a nice ending to uh, a work day when you, you come home and you can leave all of the uh, the, the worries of the office there and uh, actually get out see the animals take care of them you know and uh, collect the eggs so it's, um, it's sort of a dream come true.